Hey Busy Bees, it's Zung. You know that saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, since apple season is in full force, I thought it would be fun to make an apple delicious video for you featuring three recipes. We're making the caramel apple pie pops, the caramel apple reimagined, an apple crisp with a kick, and we're making grilled cheese with apple slices. So let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna start with our caramel apple pie pops. Apples, they're apple-elicious. I'm using a Granny Smith apple here. First, I'll de-stem it and then peel it. Now I'm using another apple, but only half of it. This is a sweet tango. It's tart with citrus and spicy notes. And I'll peel this one too. I'll cut it in half, core it, core my Granny Smith apple, and then I'll slice them into chunks. For this recipe, I'm gonna cut them into very small pieces because I want them to fit into my pie shapes. Transfer to a bowl. Here's a quick tip guys, always be sure to buy organic apples because non-organic apples can contain a lot of pesticides and you don't wanna eat that. Now to season it. I have one tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of all-purpose flour, and a little bit of lemon juice. The lemon juice keeps it tart and also from browning. I'll mix it up, and now I'll work on my pie dough. Here I have some ready-made pie dough that I'm just gonna cut into apple shapes. You can also use puff pastry for this recipe. And here's another tip. If the dough starts to get too warm, it can be really hard to handle. So just throw it in the freezer for a few minutes and start over. Isn't this apple cookie cutter cute? I got it from Michael's. Ta-da! I'll line six of my apple pie shapes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, and then I'll just scoop in a little bit of pie filling. Then I'll take some lollipop sticks and just stick it into the dough. Make sure you press firmly. Finally, I'll take more apple dough shapes and I'll close the pies. I'll take my fork and I'll crimp them down to make sure it seals properly. Then with a knife, I'm gonna poke a few holes to make vents. Now I'm gonna brush on an egg wash. This will help it brown nicely. I'll bake the apple pie sticks at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Ta-da, they look so good. I'm gonna let them cool down for 10 minutes. Finally, I'm just gonna drizzle on some caramel to make our caramel apple pie sticks. Mmm. The caramel apple, reimagined. How cute are these? I'm an apple pie lover, and these caramel apple pie pops are the perfect treat. Bet I can eat this in one bite, but I won't. I'm a lady. Okay, let's give them a try. The filling is sweet and tart at the same time, and the caramel, oh. That just adds another layer of yumminess on top. So good. Moving on, we're gonna make a yummy apple crisp with a kick, a cardamom kick. Here, I'm using a medium-sized Honeycrisp apple. I'll chop it up into small chunks. Honeycrisp apples are my favorite variety. It's almost like a cross between a Fuji apple and a Granny Smith. It has the firmness of a Fuji apple, yet the tartness of a Granny Smith. Add in a squeeze of lemon to keep it from browning. One tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. During the fall, I love using cardamom in my desserts because it adds a note of complexity and a warm depth. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'll mix it all together. Set that aside. Now I'll work on my crisp topping. I'm adding three tablespoons of quick oats, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, and then I'll mix it all together. Then I'll pour in two tablespoons of melted butter. Give it another mix, and it should form a crumbly topping like this. In my cute little mini pie dishes, I'm gonna spoon in my apples. Divide them up evenly. One for you, one for you. And then I'll cover them with my crisp topping. Spread it out evenly. 
and I'll bake them at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until they're bubbly and brown. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And to make them extra special, I'm gonna serve them warm with ice cream. Warm apple crisp and cold vanilla ice cream. There's nothing better. And I can also taste that hint of cardamom and cinnamon in there too that just really brings everything alive. It's so good. But next, we're gonna move on to the final recipe. Apples can be savory too. And we're gonna make grilled cheese with tart apple slices. To make the grilled cheese, I like to use extra sharp cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar like this one from Tillamook. I'll just peel the wrapper and then I'll grate about a cup's worth of cheese on my extra sharp grate. Nothing is better than freshly grated cheese. You know that saying, an apple pie without the cheese is like a kiss without the squeeze? Well, this isn't a pie, but apple and cheddar goes together like so good. Here, I'm using a Granny Smith apple, but any tart apple will do. The flavor combo of tart apples and salty cheese is the perfect pairing. And I also love the texture that the apples give the grilled cheese too. Nice crunch. I'll cut it into thin slices and set it aside. Here, I'm using some freshly baked bread and I'm just gonna butter it up on each side. Now on my extra hot pan, I'm gonna butter it up and then I'll add my bread. I'll heat up both sides and then I'll add on my cheese. Layer on some apple slices and more cheese to hold it all in. The more cheese, the better. Just press it down, cook it for another minute or two and then I'll flip it over. Look at that perfectly grilled crust. I'll let it cook for another minute or two until the cheese is nice and soft, and then I'll take it off. I'll slice it on the diagonal and pull it apart. Look at the cheese. Ooey gooey and super cheesy like me. On a cold fall day, this grilled cheese sandwich would be perfect with hot tomato soup or stew. I can't wait for cold weather. So tell me, which one of these three recipes would you guys make first? Comment below and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are new subscribers here, welcome and thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye!